OK, let's open our main file and take a look at the main function for this project. So GLAD implements event-driven programming model for our window. For example, when the user clicks or moves the mouse, the GLAD library can invoke our event handler function to allow the program to keep up with user actions. So specifically here we have the mouse function called callback mouse function. Keyboard events also captured when the keys go down and up. And also this glut passive motion function as well as glut motion function will be invoked when the mouse moves inside of our window or if the mouse is dragging around with one of the buttons pushed down. So let's take a look at this callback mouse button function. Just search for it in code. Here it is. So it takes three parameters, uh, the button, the state of the button, and x, y coordinates of the pixel inside the window where the mouse click was actually taking place. So here we have some tracing messages so we can try running it. Control F5. Okay, so this is our window. We have this uh, static display of the dragon. And now if I start clicking in this window, we should be able to see some traces over here. So I'm just going to increase the size of this output so it's, it's easier for us to see. So here I just clicked once in the window and it gives me uh, basically the uh, button is zero. Uh, which is my left button and then the state is first zero which is the button is pressed down and then it goes up immediately we get another notification with the state equal one there are actually glut constants named glut underscore up and underscore down which implement these constants i can also try to uh, use my right button click so you can see that this generates the button ID with encoding two. And if I use my mouse wheel, I can get this is up and down. I get I also get these notifications from the mouse wheel with encodings three and four. Another function that we have here in our project is the function named look. So look simply is invoke any time the mouse moves inside the window. So as I move this window right now on top of our OpenGL window, the look notifications are sent. And again, these are pixel coordinates within the window. I call this function look because we're going to use mouse movements to look left, right, up and down. So it's generally very helpful to control the direction of the camera. Our approach here to control the camera in this function look will be that we'll be comparing the current mouse position with an old position that was given to us in the prior call to this function and figure out uh, which way to rotate the camera based on the delta or the difference between these previous and current coordinates of the mouse location in our window. Right above the look and callback mouse button we have keyboard down and keyboard up which we can use to control the movement so if we'd like to move forward we can use for example the w key capture its ascii code and update the velocity with which we are moving forward as the w key goes up we can update our speed and slow down by the way similar to callback for the mouse clicks uh, we also get the mouse coordinates with X and Y parameters with our keyboard handler functions. So that's convenient to keep the keyboard events in sync with the mouse position and do our programming of user actions accordingly. 